the secrets of the Secret Service. So the search continues for new technologies, anything to gain an advantage on the potential assassin. And the protection cannot get much closer than the president's clothes. After the assassination attempt, President Reagan wore a bulletproof vest. I have put the vest on the president a few times. It was out of an abundance of caution. I wasn't necessarily concerned that he was in a dangerous situation. Once or twice, Mrs. Reagan actually intervened and asked if he could wear the vest. It is rumored that President Obama was wearing a bulletproof suit during the inauguration. Of course, the Secret Service will say nothing about the matter. But if he was, it almost certainly came from Miguel Caballero, the world's high fashion manufacturer of protective armor. Caballero has taken advantage of the war between drug cartels and the government in his native Colombia to create a new technology of fabric design. The secret of what we do is to mix a hybrid of polyester and nylon, which can absorb energy. The basic principle of bulletproofing is absorbing energy. To ensure his employees understand the importance of their work, Caballero personally shoots each one from close range in one of his products. High fashion body armor is big business, and the world's best stores, like Harrods of London, compete to carry Caballero's line. These jackets, suits, and even polo shirts can stop a 357 Magnum, a 9mm, or an Uzi. Tourists actually trek to Caballero's factory, begging to be shot in one of his signature garments. The Secret Service is constantly investigating the range of new protective technology, whether it is Caballero's clothes, 